Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this voltage regulator circuit and the input to this voltage regulator is equal to 15 volt and the regulated output of this voltage regulator is equal to 9 volt. So here, the base emitter voltage of this two transistor is equal to 0 0.7 volt while the base current of this two transistor is negligible. So here, we have been asked to find the value of this resistor R2 in a such a way that we get the output voltage of 9 volt. So first of all, let us write down what has been given to us. So here, the V out is equal to 9 volt. Moreover, the VB of both transistor is equal to 0 0.7 volt, while the base current of both transistor is negligible. So let's say this transistor is Q1, while this transistor is equal to Q2, and the base emitter voltage of both transistor is equal to 0 0.7 volt. That means these two voltages are 0.7 volt. Now let's say the voltage at this end is equal to VA. And this voltage VA is actually VB1. So here the zener voltage of the zener diode is equal to 3.3 volt. So if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can say that this voltage VA is equal to VB1 that is this voltage plus Vz that is equal to 0 0.7 volt plus 3.3 volt that is equal to 4 volt that means this voltage Va is equal to 4 volt now here we have been given that this base current of both transistor is negligible that means this current is almost negligible and here this current will be equal to I2 now since this base current IB is negligible so we can say that the current through this resistor R1 and R2 is equal to IE2. That means this current is equal to IE2. And since the same current is flowing through both resistors, so we can apply the voltage divider rule. So applying the voltage divider rule, we can say that this voltage VA is equal to this R2 divided by this R1 plus R2 times 9 volt. So here, this VA is equal to 4 volt while the R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. That means we can say that this 4 volt times R1 plus R2 is equal to 9 times R2. Or we can say that this 4 times R1 plus 4 times R2 that is equal to 9 times R2. That means 4 R1 is equal to 5 times R2. And we know that this R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. That means pi times R2 is equal to 4 times 1 kilo ohm. That means R2 is equal to this 4 kilo ohm divided by 5. That is equal to 800 ohm. That means the value of this resistor R2 is equal to 800 ohm. And with this value of R2, the regulated output voltage will be equal to 9 volt. That means we can say that for the given question, the value of R2 is equal to 800 ohm.